And scientists have been working for decades to develop a vaccine for RSV. Today, Pfizer says its RSV vaccine is safe for pregnant women and effective in helping to protect their newborn babies. The vaccine could be available next year. And Circle of Health reporter Denise Dador is here live with the very latest. Denise? Well, you know, David, as health officials all over Southern California deal with an onslaught of viruses affecting mainly children, news of a potential RSV vaccine offers hope on the horizon. This as pediatric cases start to skyrocket in LA County. Flu and RSV cases were practically non-existent during the past two winters. Now, LA County health officials report we're getting an early and fast start. We have surpassed the 5% threshold and the amount of influenza we're seeing is, is increasing sharply. This is the earliest start of the flu season we've experienced in the past five years. The most recent data shows about 21% of 5 to 11 year olds brought to emergency rooms have influenza like illnesses. That red line on the left shows how steeply RSV cases are rising in just the month of October. 20% of specimens are testing positive for RSV. Officials can't predict if an early peak means a long and severe season, but new hope for babies born next winter, a promising RSV vaccine. This is good news because it provides a high level of protection during the period of life when infants are most vulnerable. The vaccine would be given to expecting mothers. They would then pass the antibodies to their babies. The pharmaceutical company says early studies show 82% efficacy preventing severe sickness during the first 90 days of life and 69% efficacy through the first six months. It's already spreading like wildfire. In Orange County, where pediatric hospital beds are filled to capacity, Dr. Jennifer Burkhauser with Hogue Medical Group says, unlike other viruses, RSV doesn't peak until the fifth or sixth day. So a lot of times we think it's bad, but it just keeps getting worse. And I think that's where RSV kind of plays into more of an epidemic and more of, you know, really hurting our kids is it doesn't follow the typical viral course that we see. Kids remain contagious for much longer. And if the approval process goes smoothly, it'll be about a year before we see an RSV vaccine. So doctors say protect yourself with vaccines we do have. The flu shot and the COVID bivalent booster both provide protection for the viruses currently circulating. Denise. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.